Today we're going to take a ride through South Cove County Park. It is a Oconee County Park on Lake Kiwi in South Carolina. They have a couple of tennis courts. Checkout is at noon, and there is only one dump station, which creates a bit of a traffic problem. It's a nice picnic shelter. A lot of picnic areas. There's a fishing dock somewhere. There's a nice children's playground. Outdoor rinse off showers, and a nice swimming area. Looks a little muddy once you're in the water, but nice sandy beach. And this is a county park, which is a lot more than just a campground. So it's got a lot of weekend use in the non camping area. But we'll go across this little causeway out to the campground. Alright, this first corner is campsite number one. Oh. And this tiny little spot here on the very corner is 65, which is an overflow spot. But campsite one is a nice level site on the water. Nice long straight site. Site two is a pull through. Close to the water and easy access. Nice and level. Site four is really a back end, reasonably level right here on the water. The bathhouse is across the street. Site six is a back end, a little bit of shade. And that's a real duck down there by the water. <laughs> there are a lot of ducks around here. Site seven is a back end, nice view of a tree. Site eight is a back end. Site nine is a back end. And all of these are right on the water. Site 10 is a pull through, a little bit of slope down towards the driver's side with a pretty short walk right across to the water. Site 12 appears to be a pull in, or sort of a pull through. We're back at the bathhouse again. Reasonable bathhouses. A couple of showers in each one. There are two bathhouses here. All right, this is site 14. As they pull through, looks pretty level. Not much of an outdoor area. Kind of step off the steps into a hole. Site 15 is 
pretty steep down in if you use it as a pull in or pull through. The site itself is pretty level. Nice shade tree in front. It would be easier to back in from this point that is split with the next site. And the next site is 17. Getting reasonably flat. A little bit of downhill all the way through the site. But pretty level side to side. And a nice easy out. These sites across the street all have water and power but are listed as parking sites as opposed to campsites. Which means we're missing a whole bunch of campsite numbers. This is site 19. It's a little bit downhill all the way in. But level for cross slope. Getting much better access to the water, but there is no shade here. It is a pull through with a pretty easy pull out. Site 21 is occupied. And there's looks pretty flat all the way. Looks like it might hold water over here to the driver's side. Again, all these sites are labeled as parking with the site numbers hidden behind them. So here we have site 23. It's a little bit uphill all the way in. A little bit of retaining wall here on the outdoor area side. And here we come to one of the dual sites. This is 2527. There's a pull through. A little bit uphill all the way through the site. Nice access to the water. And the retaining wall over here at the outdoor area is only about three feet tall. But that site is an easy in, easy out. And site 2931 is occupied. And site 33 is a pull through single site, little downhill into the site. Nice shade tree, easy access down to the lake. Lake 35 is a pull through, easy access, and good access to the water. 37 is also a pull through. Again, decent outdoor area. A lot of grass down below the retaining wall and easy access to the water. And no shade. Site 36 is a pull through or back in, whichever you prefer. Not much outdoor area, but reasonably level site. And the water is just right across the street. Okay, site 38 is a pull through. Good bit of cross slope down to the passenger side. Very easy access to the water. Site 39 is a back in. Reasonably level site, easy access. And if nobody's in 38, it's a nice view of the lake. But if somebody's in 38, you don't have much of a view. Site 40 is a back in. Small site, but easy access a little uphill all the way in 
and I would say not very good access to the water with all of these rocks. And 41 is a reasonably level site. Again, access to the water is kind of limited with all the rocks. 42. Small back end site. But in this case, you can walk right around the rocks and get down to the grass and down to the water. And the bathhouse is right up on the hill above us, and that is the second bathhouse. That's the larger of the two. And now we're into the tent sites. That is 43. And this is site 44. And 45. Forty-six. Forty-seven actually has the tent pad down at the water. Forty-eight doesn't really have a tent pad anywhere. Forty-nine. Fifty. And this is fifty-one. And 52 and I will say there is not much parking for any of these tent sites over the weekend this section of the campground was packed with cars along the road and tents everywhere and that is 53 which is the last tent site this is 54 which is a pull through kind of a tight really tight turn to get out but nice view of the water 55 is a long back in nice view of the water lots of shade trees you're not as close to the water as you are on the other side of the campground but these are shaded sites that you don't get on the other side and they seem to be larger sites. 56 is, uh, I don't know what you call that, a back end of 55 and pull in and pull through or a back end. And that's back to the first bathhouse again. All right, and 57 is a back in, or perhaps a pull in with a motorhome or something, because water and power are on the wrong side to back in, and your outdoor area is on the wrong side, but it is not really a pull through but a nice view of the lake. 58 is a pull through. A little bit uphill, but reasonably level. A nice view of your neighbor, I think, in site 59. And whatever site that is, it's got a nice big outdoor area. Right, site 60. Site 61 is a back in. Uphill a little bit all the way in, but reasonably level. A little bit of shade. It has the Puma with a nice view of the lake. I 
think, decent access to the water. 63, if you pull into it from the Causeway Road as you're coming into the campground, pull into Site 63. Good bit of shade, a nice view of the swimming area, and out of the water. and then loop around to go back out. And site 64, a little bit downhill all the way in, not much cross slope, nice and shaded. And decent access down to the water. Site 65 is, I think, an overflow site. And site 66 is a back in. Plenty of trees, decent access to the water. With a little welcome windmill for you. And site 67 could be a pull through back in kind of whatever you want and decent access down to the water from either side of the site Site 68 is a campground host. It's a reasonably level site. It is a back in. Sixty-nine is a back in. And yes, I'm riding through these backwards because the numbers go the wrong way. But it's a reasonably level site. Not a bad outdoor area, plenty of grass, and a decent view down of the lake. These sites are up on the hill above everything. Uh, that is a camp host site, and I don't know what the number is. All right, site 70 is a back in. Easy access. It's Reasonably level site. Nice grassy outdoor area with a view down of the lake across all the tent sites that can be pretty busy. And this is probably 71 that is somewhat occupied, so we won't go in but reasonably level site, decent outdoor area, again, decent view of the lake, especially if there's no tents. 72, reasonably level site, a little bit downhill on the driver's side. Decent outdoor area. Again, the children's playground right here on top of the hill. 73 is occupied. 74 is occupied. Both of those are reasonably level. Decent outdoor area and a decent view of the lake. 75 is uphill all the way in. It is right here at the bathhouse. Again, this is the larger of the two bathhouses. And 
previous campground host must have been 76. This is 77, which is another campground host right at the bathhouse. Site 78 is a pull through, a little uphill in. Not much of a view of the lake with all the trees in the way. 79 is a pull in. And then I guess you can drive through the grass once you get unhitched if you're pulling a trailer. It's a little bit uphill all the way in. Surrounded by some trees but doesn't appear to have a lot of shade in it but a nice view out to the lake okay that is site 80 a little bit uphill all the way in really nice view out across the lake kind of up here on top of the hill nice outdoor area beautiful view out to the lake 81 is a pull through if there's room but may just be a pull in and back out nice view of the lake it's a reasonably level site 82 is a pull through again nice view down to the lake Site 85 is a back in. A nice view out to the lake, a nice outdoor area. All right, site 86, back down on the water. There's a back in, kind of around the corner down the hill, but doesn't look too bad. It is downhill all the way in, but the site is pretty level. A little bit of cross slope down on a passenger side. Not a huge outdoor area above the wall, but the wall is only about two feet tall. A little bit of grass, and there's the water. And very nice. Eighty-seven is a pull in, sort of a pull through. You pull in reasonably level once you're in the site. Really nice view out on the lake. A lot of outdoor area down to the water. Plenty of grass, but once you're all the way in. You gotta unhitch and then drive up that road. Which is a little bit strange, a little hard to make that turn. And this is site 88. Looks like a reasonably flat site. A little bit of cross slope getting in, but not bad. Now, 89 and 90. And 90 is this one right here with the motorhome, right on the water. 89 is way out there at the end with a long driveway, but a really nice view out onto the lake. and fairly private because it's farther down than everything else. But really nice. And I think at that point, we have seen all of the campsites. And that concludes our ride through South Cove 
county park campground and the park thanks for watching and have a great weekend out camping